Football is back at SK Newsline and the boys of the Caribbean Radio are bringing live coverage with Premier League Live. Watch and listen to live football coverage on Saturdays at 7 p.m., Sundays at 6 p.m., and midweek games on Mondays or Fridays at 8 p.m. Games will be broadcast on SK Newsline and the SKNFA Facebook pages and Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. It's Premier League Live. Commentary, analysis, action. Never miss a game. November, Smart Electronics is having the biggest sale on island. Three in one. Yes, three sales in one month. From the 1st to the 26th. And on the 27th is their massive school-wide Black Friday sale. And don't forget, on the 30th is Cyber Monday. You get to take advantage of all. And when I say all, I mean all gadgets and electronics store-wide. Including cell phones, tablets, smart TVs, laptops, refrigerators, washing machines, and much more. Don't you miss out on the biggest sale on island. Three in one. On sale for the entire month of November. Terms and conditions apply. Smart electronics, where to live a smart life. <laughs> Skillex Interactive Voice Response System, a new 24-hour automated call-in service. Access it now at 465-2000 to report faults, receive bill balances, and for the first time ever, you can now make bill payments over the phone, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Access it now by calling 465-2000. Welcome once again to Warner Park and live coverage of the SK and FA Premier League. This match is one of those matches, big fish versus small fish. St. Paul's a big fish, the number two ranked team in the league so far. And this is uh, South Stars playing in their Unfamiliar strips, normally, normally they're in uh, green and white and the reverse colors, but this time they have blue and yellow. St. Paul's safe in the, in the race for the top six. And so using an opportunity to play some players, to put some players on the field that are normally on the bench. Uh, have not played much, many games for uh, this season. So you see Deontay Leibold, the younger Leibold starting for the... the for the second time, Austin Lewis, who hasn't featured much, playing in number six position as security force, sorry, South Stars, try to probe. Meanwhile, they still have some very good players in the lineup. It's not all weak players, it's uh, experience mixed with some youth. This ball is knocked to the center circle now. The man Austin Lewis goes to his right side. Ball one and lost by, by South Stars. Some balls. Square. Choosing leader, the veteran. Coming forward with it. Slide it to the left side. Finding Freeman. Freeman. Down the left flank. Just when. <laughs> Mr. Omar Francis was overlapping, thought the play had been broken up and turned back. And by the time he was able to decide he was going for it, the ball had already gone into touch. However, South Star has donated back. Dan Wiley, but one of the heroes of the FA victory for St. Paul's. I said last word, St. Paul's. As they play around with it in the back, uh, trying to penetrate. They try the right side this time. Security forces is keeping a defensive shape. They win the ball now. 
trying to speed down the left flank. This bit it looks like trying to go into the center forward channel. It doesn't work. Similarly, St. Paul still trying to go on the right side. Deante goes back. Then they go forward for instrument. Ball knocked away by the security forces uh, defense. Sorry, the South Stars. What am I saying? The South Stars defense. South Stars. Ball to St. Paul's. This is leader. Prison. Omar Francis just just about the half a mark now. Give it back to Lewis. Lewis trying to find Danwai. Does so. Danwai goes back and square. Squarish back pass. Then they try to go forward. Finding Freeman. Freeman trying. Sorry, that's no. It's no trying to free Freeman. Freeman comes back to his stronger foot. Then goes to his right again. Looking for the cross. Battling in the box. Wins a corner. First corner to St. Paul's. like bound in goal for South Stars they go to the left Morton wrestling wins the rest, wins the, 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 the free kick loses the wrestling match was pushed off the ball by the St. Paul's players free kick inside their own half looking to go long St. Paul's has two banks of players. As you see the electronic scoreboard, new feature one apart being tested. Lights just came on. I don't think they have programmed it yet, so I could be wrong. Meanwhile, Ball one and last. By St. Paul's, they win it back. A player goes to the ground. And the referee stops because that player looks like he is hurt. He went up over the player and then fell heavily to the ground. But he's okay. He's up and about now. Ball just stuck in a hole for a while. St. Paul's getting out of the, the little right side corner. They go to the center, then to the left. Francis goes to the middle. Finds help from Freeman. Freeman loses it out. Here comes South Stars. They're to lose the ball. But the referee Basso says, not legally so. Creeley trying to get about two, three men. He's fouled. Nicked on the ankles from behind. Set piece. Dylan comes over. Looks like he will fire a long range shot. Here's Dylan. Shot, long range shot up over the crossbar. Ball gone on to Lozak Road. So the new one has to be fetched. Fetched now by the St. Paul's goalkeeper. Joined by Essington Watts. A quiet start from both teams, Watts? Yes, very quiet start indeed.
as we see possession being one and lost in midfield <laughs> a little holding going on there by, by the St. Paul's player looks like Deontay Leibold is holding long ball downfield down the left flank Anthony Case is there for St. Paul's when this bit crosses keeper comes out creates it no harm done Some pass trying to build from deep in the own half. They go forward, long ball forward. Freeman is on side. Freeman cradles. Freeman nods it. Trying to get on a number of players. South starts knocking away. Creel in the midfield. Trying to help. Trying to help his gums. They go forward and the ball knocked back. Hewlett in the midfield here, battling away, gives it to his left back. Left back gives it away. Then here comes Leibard. Leibard and Keynes combine to give the ball away. South Stars holding their own so far. Man Creeley muscled off the ball by Akimba and Aston Lewis. Oh, a strong tackle coming in there from, from South Stars. goes to Brown Hodges is players forward I'm now seeing these keepers with these head pieces what um, you have any idea what, what they, they're using it for I know Peter Cech used to use one for for safety as we see so stars crossing the ball and Bergen in goal for St. Paul's he proceeds to well, let's give away the ball. Uh, big punt out to Akimba who can't handle it. Some pass trying to break down the left flank, but wouldn't out of space. Yes, now Chafalgo. There with the ball looking to come from the block there by Freeman. Tried to get it to it, but unfortunately goes over the byline. So it's going to be a goal kick for Chafalgo South Stars. Chafalgo South Stars, they're under some pressure. They have to win this game. They want to stay up in the Premier League. Same pass on the other hand, they're more relaxed. So here comes Jafalgo South Stars looking to go forward. Nice ball inside. Flag goes up. So whistle goes. So it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a free kick for St. Paul's. Here comes Freeman. Looking to go forward. Nice ball up front by Nurse. Looking for Kimber Lance. Kimber doesn't get it. Defended there by Chafalga South Stars. So here comes Nurse. Nurse pushes the ball wide on the right. Some power still in position. Well, being forced back, but here is Freeman. This goal score, good ball by Freeman, and that should have been the first goal. A diving header there. Well played by Freeman, played across the pit of the goal. A diving header there by Kimbo Lawrence. Unfortunately, 
he missed that one completely and the ball went over the byline for a goal kick so the first real clear-cut chance there goes to Sempals unfortunately they just couldn't pull it off so it remains nil nil in the first game St. Peter's defeated uh, security forces some eight nine goals to nil really was a goal fest but this game tonight it's St. Paul's newly crowned FA Cup champions coming up against Trafalgar South Stars is chosen leader pushes the ball wide now Freeman's with it no. loses again she's a leader with the ball she's a leader tried to get around his man but unfortunately just couldn't so it's Chapago in possession forcing back towards their own goal but now they're looking to come out looking to emerge from their own defense with the goal for infringement the man in charge tonight is Basu but it remains nil nil St. Paul's having the first clear cut chance of all played across the face of the goal by Freeman. All Kimber had to do, Kimber Lance, was just to head that one in, but he missed it completely. So, first squandered chance. Yeah, well, it, it would talk about a goal fest, but it doesn't appear the way the South Stars team is set up. Deep into the one half, keeping their shape, that they will be um, open to a, a, a huge margin. They are holding their lines and hoping to upset St. Paul's tonight. I can see that's the plan to play counter attacking football. Brown gets a back pass. He hammers it downfield, but to no one in particular. Philip winning in midfield, going forward to Morton. Morton slipping on the ball, and then damaging himself. Nurse to the right side. Liebard, Deante trying to get you two men. The ball knocked away, tackled away. Well, less fast from man trying to come back to his favorite foot. Goes to Nurse, gets a return pass, can't control it. Hmm. Well, very good link up there, link up play. Um, in between Nurse and Freeman. Unfortunately, Freeman just wasn't able to gather the ball. But he was inside the box. The ball was played quickly into the box. Unfortunately for him, just couldn't put it on the control. But a very good idea. Very good link up play. And uh, it remains nil nil. Long ball, long field. Francis. Knocks away to Danoi. Don't know why he says to go back, picked off by the, the South Stars. She's a leader trying to help out, gives away a corner. Corner to South Stars. The corner is a sign that uh, the team is pressing, South Stars is pressing. Searching for an opening goal. Yes, from the, um, from the get go. They really were pressing and it's good to see some um, South Stars playing this kind of football. Not showing too much respect to um, St. Paul's. St. Paul's in dominating the palm. Heads go up. First ball to St. Paul's. Second ball to South Stars. South Stars try to give it to Creeley. Creeley latches onto it, latches onto it now. Goes back for help. Gets help too. But well, they go further back for safety. All the way back to Brown. Now Archie Ball. It looks like Archie Ball can yep. Philip. Archie Ball goes big. He's blocked. And gets a free kick.
figure take by Kwande was just the ball not gone downfield. Uh, we can say that the, the numbers for the for the South Stars players don't match. A lot of them don't match. Here we see a chance. Blocks. St. Paul's wins the ball, convert it. Nurse, trying to free man on the right side. He's free, he has some room. Freeman trying to go get through there. Quande. Quande Rogers. Clear. Unless that's Lewis. Lewis tries a shot. Goes goalward. Just past the upright. Well, another attempt there by St. Paul's. They seem to be getting the chances. Um, South, South, and the other hand are struggling to get any clear cut chance than goal. As you have heard us said on many occasions, that St. Paul's is the best defensive team in the Premier League. They have shown it by their stats. Um, they are really very, very adept at defending the goal and keeping clean sheets. But here they are now, forced to defend. Uh, defend again there. This is Sanko for Benjamin. Going long forward. Trying to feel a man on uh, Alden Nisbet. Back pass. Handled well by the keeper. Out to Lewis. Lewis gets it. They have to tackle it to win it back. Goes forward. He's tripped. Shrill whistle goes. Basso on top of it. Uh, Lewis is okay. Gets up right away. Long ball taken from right to left. Akimba Lawrence. Trying to keep it in play. But the ball goes into touch now. Gums will take it. I was saying what's that the numbers for South Stars they don't match at all um, on this paper, giving us a nightmares, we have to say that. And the far side, it seems as if the, the lights need fixing. Far side seems to be dark. There's a dark patch on the far side, the far southern southeastern corner. Although the numbers are bright. Sankofa Benjamin. His name is not on the score sh on the on the on the team sheet at all. But here comes St. Paul's with Akimba. Akimba Lawrence, his name is there. His number is correct. Fine Schumann. Schumann's into Nurse. Nice just a return pass, but again. South Stars is there. This time. Hewlett is clearing. Danwise jogs over. Looking to take the shot. Takes it to Akimba. Akimba. Missing out. But the ball came off of of Kwande. Kwande Rogers. <laughs> but didn't he point for a corner? change his mind if he changed his mind that one but nonetheless final award is final Bergen in goal forced to clear again this time he does it correctly Lawrence nurse robbed by Mazari Hodge Ronaldo Nisbet going down the right flank Muscled off the ball uh, by Lewis. Lewis jogs back to his jogs back to his position. Meanwhile, Gums and Hodge decide who will take the corner. It looks like they'll go short. Simple's player comes over to break it up. Aiden knows monitoring that short pass situation. It's hard. It's slow. He gets it too. Put it down, then it clears. Upfield. Kwande missing out. Freeman gets it. Freeman speeds to the left. Looks up. Surveys the field. Hard, long to the right side. And the man over there losing his balance. Uh, much the amusement of the crowd. That's, that's overlapping, overlapping defense. She's a leader. Nurse. And Leibard, Dan Oye combining. The 
deemed a foul by Basu. But so far, about 15 minutes gone, and uh, no disrespect meant, but South Star seem to be holding their own. Yes, holding their own very much, Al. Um, they seem they have come out with the ambition to, to play. Um, as I said before, not too short too much respect to, to St. Paul. St. Paul's there on a winning streak. They have won all the games um, since we start, since um, we came back from lockdown. And they're looking good. They've won the FA Cup, the last game they played. But here comes South Stars, as they said, looking to go forward. Into Hodge. Hodge trying to beat the man. Can't get around five field. Five field. Lawrence. Lawrence back to Anthony Keynes. Keynes comes on the inside. Finds Lewis. Uh, slides it over, a little angular pass over to Francis. Francis goes back for safety. They're trying to pull out the, the South Stars team to get some more space behind the defense for their men to run. Here they come now, looking for the space. Cut out by by Rogers. Rogers goes to the left, finds Morton. Morton slams it forward, looking for Ronaldo Nisbet. But Bogan gets there first. Bogan filling in for Jamal Jeffers tonight. Uh, we, we won't be surprised if you see Jamal Jeffers coming on as a striker tonight. Fancies himself as his big striker. Here come trying to free Freeman. He gets it too. He controls. He goes back for help. Finds Akimba. Akimba sizes it up, sends it far to his far side to Deante Leibo to our switch sides. Deante comes back. Finds Francis. Francis chip goes forward. Finds Nurse. Nurse looking for a one two. Gets it back too. Trying to get through the hole. No, says Sankofa. Sankofa Benjamin comes forward and then knocks it aimlessly into the deep into the half of St. Paul's. Goalkeeper Bogan comes out, then goes long. Lofted drive upfield but into touch for throwing to St. Paul's. Yes, a throwing to St. Paul's in a team a team game. Um, St. Paul's not looking to impose themselves. Uh, I think St. Paul's are yep. playing quite within themselves. <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> I say yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Expect this match to pick up in terms of pace and excitement. Here comes St. Paul's again, Lewis. Finds Leibold. Leibold goes forward to Lewis. Lewis turns back. Look for help. He has. Another Leibold. Dan Y. Dan Y finds Nuss. Nice no, slides it through. Clearance. Coming from Quande Rogers. Again, St. Paul's relentless. Back at them. Trying to get down the flag, the ball goes into touch. Player trying to control it. As a Kimba fighting for all he's worth to control it. When you go to see St. Paul making an effort to play some possession football, just in and around the box, um, looking to play some short passes. They're well known um, for those long balls over the top, uh, having Freeman run on to those long balls. But um, tonight you see them looking to, as I said, Spread some passes around the field and, and look to break down the um, Chapaga South Star defense. Morton controlling the goalkeeper very well indeed. Went back for help. Gets help too. From left to right, they find Gums. Gums having trouble control it. Then he knocks it over to find uh, Nisbet. Nisbet, a left footer. Tough guy. Loses out to St. Paul's. Five field. Then Dan Wiley, but Dan Wiley, but turns in the midfield, faces up, then goes forward, square, almost picked off by Dylan. Clearance, only as far as Quande, Quande to Quilly, Quilly to Hewlett, Hewlett back to Quilly. One, two, three passes, wow, connecting passes now, position four, then they give it up, interception by Deante. Until Labour, they get forward to Freeman. Freeman on the inside to find Danoy. Danoy puts it through. Is that a handball? They're asking. This looks like Sanko for Benjamin going long downfield. Heads go up. St. Paul's. Move St. Paul's. Lewis. Labour. Nurse. Three passes. Again, this time they find Freeman. Freeman in the box now turns. Freeman shoots straight at Brown. He parries it and takes control. 
Well, a very good move by Freeman, looking to take the ball over towards the byline and then cut back inside on his right foot, his weaker foot. And fortunately, he tried a shot and just didn't have enough power to beat the goalkeeper. But a good move by Freeman. Yeah, Freeman will tell you he doesn't have a weak foot. <laughs> One is strong, the other is stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes South Stars, battling away, trying to get their chance on goal. Leader breaks it up. Outlet to Deontay. Deontay Leibold weaving his way. Then he frees him on from his held back. He will get a card. Should get a card. Not that I'm begging for it, but a pullback, a pullback foul. Maybe because other players were behind. Basu was being kind we could we could hear the, the debate in the crowd about the card what's your take on it oh he, oh he blow the for the first foul he blow for the first foul and pulled it back <laughs> pull back the ball because here comes a long looping ball from Lewis searching asking a question the question is not answered yes a good play by by Lewis Austin Lewis and trying to get the ball up and over the defense but unfortunately um, that distance between the back line and the goalkeeper the very short distance so it favored the goalkeeper and um, and there to add to it there were not many players who were looking to run towards to that ball but it's still nil nil here South Stars acquitting themselves well so far against this devastating um, destructive St. Paul's uh, red force was looked so good as since the restart. A little bit of confusion here on the train. Uh, South Stars trying to steal one. Basso will have none of that. Ball goes to St. Paul's. Lewis. Lewis. Keynes. Lawrence. All St. Paul's. Back to Keynes. They go forward. Fancy ball by Lai, but it doesn't work. Fuckner by, by South Stars. Then Morton. Morton loses out, but St. Paul's with it back in Creeley. Goes forward. Sangs it forward. Nisbet is there. Bogan is coming. Bogan will get there first. Out to his right side. For the right, they're going. Then they go forward, trying to look for the inside charge channel. Quande Rogers. Dylan. Trying to beat a man. Dan Roy bodies him up. Takes it away. Gives it to Nurse. Nurse gives it to Nurse. Whenever it's how he gives it to Leibard. Leibard goes forward, trying to find the man on the right side. Akimba Lance. Ball. Ricochet is back to his favors. Then he sends it in. Nurse goes back to to Freeman. Freeman gets it but couldn't latch onto it. And he goes back to Nurse. Nurse trying to get around the corner. Nurse being little muscled here. Yeah. Again comes across but too strong, too hard for a Kimber Lawrence. He now apologizes. Yes, and Freeman Kimber. is in there. Ruined, ruined the chance he had because he did get some space on the free post. On the fab post, sorry. Had that cross been any better, he would have had an easy goal, an easy chance at goal on the far side. Very much so, Al. Um, he was just outside the six-yard box, so close to goal. All he had to do was to just get the ball um, to the far post where Freeman was looking um, with intent. And unfortunately, um, his pass was too flighted and it just went floating over the crossbar. So it remains nil nil with South Stars. Looking quite well against the St. Paul's team. I don't know, so just sandwich, but um, got out of trouble. And then knocked the ball forward, touched a uh, South Stars player. And so goes into touch for a throw in to St. Paul's. Here they come. Francis trying to cross after receiving from Freeman. Blocked by South Stars. Tackled by St. Paul's trying to break up the play. That's, an, that's 
Austin Lewis, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he south starts. Archibald trying to go forward, doesn't work. Comes back, gets back to the ball after losing it. Goes over to Benjamin. Benjamin goes long forward, trying to find Nisbet. Nisbet acknowledges the pass, but cannot latch onto that one. Bogan gets it. Bogan goes it out to his center back and choosing leader. Leader goes long. Heads go up. Sanko for first. Then Kwande. Then knocked away into the center circle. Dylan takes away, sends it forward. Leader gets involved. Leibold picks up the loose ball. Again, choosing leader. Comes forward with it. Chops it off short by Nurse. Nurse goes to the right. Slides it over. Finds Akimba. Akimba is free. Keynes can overlap. Keynes is with him now. He slides it down the channel to Keynes. Keynes trying to get the one the man turns back. Tries to cross. Misses the ball. South Stars takes over. Up to Nisbet. Nisbet comes back on the inside for his Dylan. Dylan trying to give back a one-time pass. A bit too hard. So Lewis is able to read it and sends it back to keeper for safety. Keeper. Out to Francis. On the left side. Some bars left side. They wait. They pause. Then they give it back to Leibold. They are waiting. They realize that uh, South Stars have a very good defensive posture, so they're trying to pull them out to create space. I said that before. Again, they're trying the same thing. They've been patient on this occasion, knocking the ball around before looking to spring any surprises. Lewis and Keynes go back to Bo going back to Bogan. Six five field. Asking for help, gets help too. Francis helps him out. Francis goes into Dan White. Dan White then spring the ball down the left flank, finding his brother. Deante. There's a clash of bodies, a clash of balls, a clash of shins. Deante wins the better ball. Freeman twist turns, coming next way, trying to go inside. Freeman looking to pull the trigger, blocked by a number of yellow shots. They're clear, but only as far as, as five feet. Five feet goes square. Finds Chisholm leader, Chisholm leader, licking his lips trying to shoot that goal. <laughs> yes, Chisholm leader is making lots of effort to go forward. And we've seen previously where a ball was played, a nice switch ball was played over to him, um, into his part, but unfortunately he fell over his own feet and didn't get to it. But you could see the effort, Chisholm leader, a player who would have played a top flight football maybe 20 years maybe 12, 20 consecutive years he started since he was in a, as a teenager just to understand just retired from national duties but here comes St. Paul's still looking for that first goal finds Freeman Freeman's inside the box and Freeman goes <laughs> Freeman plays the ball straight to the goalkeeper goalkeeper had no problem at all it was on his <laughs> Well, I, I call it his weaker foot, but I'll say his... <laughs> well, that one was straight, straight to the goalkeeper, Al. Freeman should have done better. Someone who is in such, such goal-scoring form should have done much better with that one. That definitely was his best chance for the night, when he was on his strong foot. <laughs> <laughs> According to Freeman. But here is South Stars trying to get the ball in. They do so around the corner, but Bogan is coming off his line. Bogan saves. Well timed by the young man. Seemed to be well trained by by Jamal Jeffers. Here they come. Same pass. Nurse. Trying to free Freeman. Freeman gets it from Nurse this time from Liber this time. Freeman gets it to the box. Freeman slides it in. Freeman slides it in. Number one. This time was on his younger foot <laughs> That was a very good one. Uh, he made a good one inside the box. And the slide it cost the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper had no chance. So Freeman continue in his goal scoring form. His last two matches he missed out. But this time he didn't miss out at all. Scoring the first goal for St. Paul's. So St. Paul's on the way again for another victory. There was a caught nap in this time. A quick ball out of midfield. I, 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 we spoke earlier about the pace. There was a quick ball out of midfield from Leibold. He got it the way he wanted it. On his right foot. One on one. The defender couldn't get close to him. And he pushed the ball just sufficiently in his favor. 
to get it past the advancing Browning goal. Easy goal for him. One of his favourites. Yes, and he would have enjoyed that. As I said, in his last two matches, he didn't score. After scoring, after scoring for about seven consecutive matches, he missed out on the FA Cup and he missed out on a Premier League Cup just before the FA Cup. But he's back and he's goal scoring for him. Switch of winners again. Ball cross. Blocked. Corner. Well, Sempa looks so unhurried, so easy tonight. They not seem to be in any hurry at all. And as I said, they're not looking to impose themselves. And maybe later on. After the goal, that's when the adrenaline flows. <laughs> Well, oh, yes, they tend to, to score. No, they tend to score more than one goal. All, all, all the people tend to think that they, they, they score a goal and they defend, but they will tell you otherwise. They are looking for the second goal with a corner kick. Ball comes in into the side netting, and again, <laughs> you see the man jogging back, choosing leader. I was up there looking, looking for a goal, hoping to get a goal. Maybe in the toilet of his career, I think he has resigned. I retired from the national team and so looking for fun trying to make sure that he scores in the Premier Division game very serious man indeed is he indeed goal kick comes out headed away by headed away by by St. Paul's throwing to South Stars yes she's a leader I said play for the national team for years and now in the twilight of his career looking to hang his boots up but still have some something in, in the ga in the tank gas tank here comes Nisbet and Fifield Nisbet goes back for help shot blocked goes into touch almost on the cricket side ball boy throws it back throws back the sanitized ball and goes to the other one here comes South Stars again, down on the byline. Tackle coming in. Another corner to, to South Stars. It's corner number three. Corner comes in. No heads away. Gets it back in Dylan trying to South Stars Rob by Dan Wai knocked off of, of South Stars player goal kick goal kick says Basso the wind, the wind is that high for us to hear the voices coming from the fi from the field. Mm, that is very much so. Sam Pauls come out, coming out of their own half. Nurse finds Francis. Francis back in the middle finds Austin Lewis. Lewis allows it to run, then drops it off by. By five feet. Five feet goes over to the right, finds Keynes. Keynes has time to twist and turn on it. Then goes long. But who is there? Only Kwande. Kwande making a mess of it. Kwande Rogers. Comes on the inside. The ball goes outside. It really made a mess of it, Mr. Kwande Rogers. We're in the number five. Five jersey this evening. We added that to the score sheet. The team sheet, sorry. Nurse. Back to Nurse. Those labored. Then they go up to the other labor, Dan Oai. The young one goes to the ground, wins a, f a free kick. Deante. Again, we see Sempas making an effort to play um, those short passes in and around the final. Um, final third of, of the, uh, the offensive part of the, the, of the field and now they have a free kick let's see if they can make some use of it um, but the, as I said they're well known for those long passes over the back line um, but tonight 
with 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 so far as the South Stars sitting back a bit, they are forced to make those short passes. Here they come, shot on goal, just just over the crossbar. In us. That oh. was just over the crossbar. Just over the crossbar and not too far away. Just needed a few more inches, just dipping. And it would have been a, a goal because a goalkeeper would have been beaten um, by pace. It was well struck. Um, hit that cleanly. But unfortunately, just didn't get it dipping enough. So nil nil still. No, it's one nil. Remember Freeman? One, one nil, sorry. One nil. Squeezing one. <laughs> one of his favorites. One nil with Freeman scoring. Freeman continuing in scoring ways. Here's a Kimber Lawrence. Must have the after ball. Looking for cross on the left flank. Does so now. Gets it to Freeman. Freeman can turn. Freeman pushes the far post. Who's there? Deante Laibo. Deante goes on the inside. Looking for one two. Gives to Freeman. Freeman shoots. And goes over the top of the bar. That's not sorry. Yes, Nurse, uh, a natural left footed player, and got that one on his left foot and um, was looking to bend it in, into the top um, right hand corner. Fortunately, just didn't um, dip again and it went over the crossbar. So it's 1 0 in favour of St. Paul's goal scored by Freeman. Here is um, Akimbo looking to link up with, with, with Leibold, but this time finds Nurse and, and he's back with. With Leibold. Oh, with Leibold. Yeah. Leibold trying to, yes, he does get the ball inside. Little, nice little back heel. Kimba pulls the trigger. Ball clear and then finally scored. Looks like Danwai Leibold is making a habit of it now. Scored in the finals for the FA Cup. The ball came out right in his favour and he slammed it in the back of the net. It's Very good from a, a defence that couldn't handle their own, their own clearance properly. And he stuffed it back in the net. Very good, very good goal by by by, by Leibold and just at the end of uh, of the last play um, before the final the whistle for half time. Um, so Leibold, second goal in the second game, um, but it was a good a link up play again um, with with St Paul's inside the box, scoring the second goal and underway for another victory. With that information, St Paul's leading two goals to nil over South Stars. We go down to master control for some information and come back at half time. Coming up is the Premier League Live halftime show. For the entire month of November, Smart Electronics is having the biggest sale on island. Three in one. Yes, three sales in one month. From the 1st to the 26th. And on the 27th is their massive store-wide Black Friday sale. And don't forget, on the 30th is Cyber Monday. You get to take advantage of all. And when I say all, I mean all gadgets and electronics store-wide. Including cell phones, tablets, smart TVs, laptops, refrigerators, washing machines, and much more. Don't you miss out on the biggest sale on island three in one sale for the entire month of november terms and conditions apply smart electronics where to live a smart life <laughs> skillex interactive voice response system a new 24-hour automated call-in service access it now at 465 2000 to report faults receive bill balances and for the first time ever you can now make bill payments over the phone 24 hours a day seven days a week access it now by calling 465 2000 As we wind down to the playoffs, Sadler's FC want to end the season with a bang. But can they get past Cornery FC, who have also been struggling since the restart? It's Fast Cash Sadler's FC versus Sol Allen Auto Supplies Cornery FC, Sunday at 6 p.m. at the Warner Park. And it's live on SKNFA.com, SKNewsline.com, the Facebook pages of SK Newsline and the SKNFA, and live radio commentary at Voice of the Caribbean Radio at VoiceOfTheCaribbean.net. It's Premier League Live. Never miss a game. It's the new and improved SK Newsline Android mobile app. With the SK Newsline app, you can watch your news reports, the SK Newsline newscast, sports, special features, and so much more. You can also send us a WhatsApp or call us directly. Go in the Google Play Store, search SK Newsline, and download the app today. The SK Newsline mobile app. News on the go. Strictly. 
Strictly Sports is back! Strictly Sports is back! And better than ever! The website that brings you all kind of sports. No rumors, no nigger business, just sports. Log on to www.getstrictlysports.com That's G-E-T-S-T-R-I-C-T-L-Y-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and get articles, features, videos and photos. Local, regional and international stories and don't forget to check out our online sports store it is little right now but in time it will get hugely and we have lots of room for you advertisers and advertising is free right now you heard me right free just call 762-3134 for more information this is good this is good if i miss the game all i got to do is log on and everything right Deal. Strictly Sports is back! Football fans, get ready for football like never before. It's the inaugural Super 6 playoffs featuring the top six teams in the SKNFA Premier League doing battle for the Big Cup. At the Warner Park Football Stadium starting November 24th, the Super 6 playoffs is the most lucrative sporting event in St. Kitts and Evis, with the champions winning $50,000. Yes, you heard right. $50,000 for the champions, $500 for man of the match, and over $100,000 in prize money. Fan giveaways and prizes galore. It's the inaugural Super 6 Playoffs starting November 24th. Get ready to rumble. This is the Premier League Live Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Halftime Show, where we do some analysis on the game we've seen. I invite a special guest. The man with me tonight is no special guest. He's a customary co-host here, co-commentator, Essington Watts. At first, we saw a slow starting game, and then St. Paul's began to get into the one. What are your thoughts so far? Yes, um, St. Paul started very slow. We expected them to come out as, as um, a team very much in form, to come out and impose themselves on their position. But he said that they came out and they played within themselves. And, um, but in the end, they were still able to get two goals. Um, just coming off of the fresh from the, the championship win, winning the FA Cup on Wednesday. They're um, really cruising. And now they have two goals up against South Stars. Uh, so they continue their winning ways. This, this is about maybe their twelfth um, consecutive win if they go on to win this game. So great form by from St. Paul's. They should go. They should go on to win this game because the attacking ideas of our South Stars seem to be just falling into the hands of the, the back four for St. Paul's. They win the ball and they come forward again. Uh, that's what. That's not what you've been seeing. It's South Stars really a, a sort of blunt attack at this moment. The South Stars attack. Yeah. Trying to get around the St. Paul's defense. Who are you in favor of? <laughs> well, <laughs> as we've been saying all the time, St. Paul's is so adept at, 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 at defending their goal, adept at keeping clean sheets. Um, so uh, it, it will take a very creative attack um, to break down their, their defense. Um, so tonight, um, I don't know what it's going to take. It's going to take a, maybe a mistake, a, a, a defensive blunder. Um, for South Stars to score against St. Paul's because I said the, in the DNA is to keep clean, clean, clean sheets but the, goal, the, 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 the first goalkeeper first choice goalkeeper is not in the goal tonight so maybe South Stars could come up with something Well with the secured in, in, in second spot with uh, 47 points they, they probably don't need to, to play all their key players they give them a rest at the same time use their bench to test them keep them in form just in case they need them but the, the real story tonight was the victory of st peter's over over security forces 
a whopping nine goals to nil and in doing that they are more or less this um tied up the fifth spot so far because the magic number as we said was 35 or 36 they've gone to 35 and if they chase him back two teams cannot catch them so they guarantee they even number one number five or spot number six so it's good news to st peter's very very good news indeed as we have been telling you all the time over the past five weeks or so five teams were vying for two spots after the first four spots were already taken so we had five teams vying for for, for two spots Sadler's team to have dropped out the first team to have dropped out not, not seem not seem <laughs> to have dropped out Sadler's dropped out Sadler's unfortunately Sadler's dropped out so left with four and now we are we could confirm that St. Peter's have taken one of the spots so only one more spot with three more teams correct what one more spot three more teams yeah. so it's all to do for Newtown who can earn themselves getting into those spots they can they have the two weaker teams the so-called weaker teams Good. teams that are in the bottom half of the table to play mm. and these teams at the same time would want to pull out something out of the stops to save themselves from from relegation and the, the, these two teams are Mantab and and um Chafaga South Stars that is for, for, for Newtown yes Mantab and Chafaga South Stars two matches to be played these are two teams that are vying for vying to stay up correct so they're going to compete and they're going to come out and and late, late dead, they're going to compete against Newton. But Newton are very much favourites to win these two games. So, and in, and in doing so, they could well be the, the last team to qualify for but final what, six. What we can say is that one of Mantab or security forces will go. Because both of them cannot catch, cannot catch South Stars on 10 points. Especially since they have each other to play. Yes, that's very much so. That's would you like to see that game, what? That yeah. South Stars versus Security Forces? No, Security Forces versus Mantap. <laughs> Two bad players. Team. Don't laugh. It's still to come. Where, where, what's your take on that one? Well, I, I, I think Security Forces are already out. The men have come out to play, to play, to compete. But well, Mantap, they will aim with a chance. They will come out to compete. But it should be a good, a good matchup. It should be a very good matchup. Nothing for pride. For well, well, that's a very security. good point. The very good point, Al. Nothing but point as if I'm going as to get on some points as a discipline <laughs> as a, a discipline uniform body. <laughs> pride is very much um, a, a great attribute. So I think that they may come out just to be, just to be for pride. Well, the the, the, the league is clo closing down, going close to the, the Super Six finals, and at this time, apart from the regular league on the football field, we want to see our national teams begin to train for next year competitions next year I've, I've sprung on my co-host and analysts already persons who they would look to see or love to see in a national team trying to make them some some um, selectors as it were I don't know if I could put Mr. Watson in the hot seat and ask him to call three names that we can see in the in the national team lineup what put on your selection hat in the national team lineup yes well of course you have to go for um, Mr. Freeman He's very hot. That's your first pick. Well, I don't. Should I go for all the the, 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 the strikers because we have had um Freeman and um uh, here um Tiwan Hanley is always up there as a as a midfielder and he's scoring so many goals. Two good choices. Okay. Uh, yes. Go on. Um, well, I go for uh, for the goalkeeper, Jamal so, Jeffers. He oh yeah, Jamal so much Jeffers. To the goal, to, to the to the team. So you gave me a good three. Um. And our next, in our next uh, broadcast, I want you to go with a full team. So I'm putting on the alert now to go and do some scouting in the other teams, the Spurs, the Cairns, the New Towns, to come up with a national squad picked by the selectors. But at the moment, it's 2-0, two, two, St. Paul's leading South Stars. Second half coming up, we'll see if South Stars has it in them to even pull one back, even the clean sheet, or pull up more or upset to draw this game, or the floodgates will be open. Stay tuned. This is the Premier League Live Halftime Show.
for the entire month of November, Small Electronics is having the biggest sale on island. Three in one. Yes, three sales in one month. From the 1st to the 26th. And on the 27th is their massive store-wide Black Friday sale. And don't forget, on the 30th is Cyber Monday. You get to take advantage of all. And when I say all, I mean all gadgets and electronics store-wide. Included cell phones, tablets, smart TVs, laptops, refrigerators, washing machines, and much more. Don't you miss out on the biggest sale on island. Three in one sale for the entire month of November. Terms and conditions apply. Smart electronics, where to live a smart life. <laughs> Skillex Interactive Voice Response System, a new 24-hour automated call-in service. Access it now at 465-2000 to report faults, receive bill balances, and for the first time ever, you can now make bill payments over the phone, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Access it now by calling 465-2000. As we wind down to the playoffs, Saddlers FC want to end the season with a bang. But can they get past Cornery FC, who have also been struggling since the restart? It's Fast Cash Saddlers FC versus Sol Allen Auto Supplies Cornery FC, Sunday at 6 p.m. at the Warner Park. And it's live on SKNFA.com, SKNewsline.com, the Facebook pages of SK Newsline and the SKNFA, and live radio commentary at Voice of the Caribbean Radio at VoiceOfTheCaribbean.net. It's Premier League Live. Never miss a game. It's the new and improved SK Newsline Android mobile app. With the SK Newsline app, you can watch your news reports, the SK Newsline newscast, sports, special features, and so much more. You can also send us a WhatsApp or call us directly. Go in the Google Play Store, search SK Newsline, and download the app today. The SK Newsline mobile app. News on the go. Strictly Sports is back! Strictly Sports is back! And better than ever! The website that brings you all kind of sports. No rumors, no Niagara business, just sports. Log on to www.getstrictlysports.com That's G-E-T-S-T-R-I-C-T-L-Y-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and get articles, features, videos and photos, local, regional and international stories. And don't forget to check out our online sports store. It is little right now, but in time it will get hugely. And we have lots of room for you advertisers. And advertising is free right now. You heard me right. Free. Just call 762-3134 for more information. This is good. This is good. If I miss the game, all I got to do is log on and everything right Deal. Strictly Sports is back! Football fans, get ready for football like never before. It's the inaugural Super 6 playoffs featuring the top six teams in the SKNFA Premier League doing battle for the Big Cup. At the Warner Park Football Stadium starting November 24th, the Super 6 playoffs is the most lucrative sporting event in St. Kitsinevis, with the champions winning $50,000. Yes, you heard right, $50,000 for the champions, $500 for man of the match, and over $100,000 in prize money. Fan giveaways and prizes galore. It's the inaugural Super 6 playoffs starting November 24th. Get ready to rumble. Send the pass to South Stars. The question we asked at half time can they come back even to erase the clean sheet? Or will we see the floodgates being opened? St. Paul's look prime to do so. There are no changes. It's still Keynes, 
five fields, Francis, leader in the back. Tanoi Leibard, Austin Lewis, Deontay Leibard, Aiden Nurse, Keith Wifeyman, and Akim Balance. And for South Stars, it's still Zach Hill Brown, Kevin Philip Wayne, number 22, Sankofa Benjamin in 15, although he's listed as 16 on the card. Quandy Rogers in 5, although he's listed as 8. Deshaun Hill at 12, Shaquem Quigley 25, Ronaldo Nesbitt with 13, Mazari has 19, Dylan Morton, Clarissa Gomes, and Ricardo Archibald. That's the lineup that started. There is Ricardo Archibald, when knocked Benjamin, the big man in the middle there, Hewlett, forced to go to the ground, got to get out the pass though. It's up to Morton. Morton will find Gomes. Gomes go in the middle. Shot at the goal, but only a knee. And Mr. Bogan was there to pick it off. First clear cut chance of, of the second half and goes to um, Chapago South Start. A very good chance indeed. And you really should have done much better with that one. Really should have done much better. Here they are trying to go back to the same area where they got they won the ball. Quigley winning the ball, going to ground. Being fouled by Akimba Lawrence. Quigley takes it quickly, gives it to Benjamin. Benjamin, back to Quigley. Quigley trying to find Mazari Hodge. It looks like Mazari Hodge. No, that's Nisbet. Ronaldo Nisbet. A little ground battle. Won by South Stars. Philip. Easy ball into Keynes. Keynes is back to South Stars. Shot on goal! Just past the upright. Bogan was monitoring it. I dare say he had it covered. Very good shot there by number 11. Nisbet um, for um, Chapago South Stars. Shot that one sweetly. Unfortunately, again, just didn't have the direction on it. Um, so, chance goes a big in. But here comes St. Paul's now. Long five, ball upfield. Five fields, scuffs, then go long. Sent into the inside left channel. A good year for Freeman. Freeman shoots just over the school, the crossbar. Oh, not a good shot. Um, cleanly hit there by, by, uh, by Freeman. From a distance it. out. But that's his angle. He loves that angle. Yeah, yeah. He really loves those shots. And Nurse and picked up the, the quick ball from midfield. Mm. That telling ball that mm. South Stars seem not to be able to handle. Here they come again. This time it's Mazavi Hodge who came all the way back to help. Ricardo Archibald losing his balance and knocking it into touch. On the sideline we see uh, the crowd favorite Kwame Challenger warming up. Known mainly for his cricketing skills but also plays football. St. Paul's trying to penetrate the right flank. Fails. Ball cleared up to Nisbet. Nisbet goes back for help. Now they come forward again. Uh, forced to turn back. Then a long ball by Ricardo Archibald. For a second time, he knocks it into touch. Droops his head in disappointment. Archibald. Hodge, Trillian Danroyd, ball knocked down by Kevin Brown. One by Kevin Brown, Brown to Dylan Morton. Morton gives it back to St. Paul's. St. Paul's gives it back to South Stars. Archibald, this time a clean pass. Again, interception by Danroyd. Back to Danroyd after giving it to Nurse. And his left foot slides it over to Akimba. Akimba looks to come on the outside. Going to cross the goal. Hits the upright. It looks like he hit the upright. Uh, probably the side netting or uh, the back post. Was a very very tight angle. Still fancies his chances. Very tight angle indeed. Um, he was going towards the byline. We expected him to go towards the byline and cut the ball back in, but he decided to go for a shot from a very tight angle. The ball slammed into the upright, and um, may uh, and um, went over the byline after ricocheting from the from the from the post. So good shot by Akimbo. Brown being featured now with a long. Looping kick up into the center circle. 
finds Nisbet. Nisbet trying to turn his man. Loses out to Chisholm Leader. Again, Chisholm Leader speeds forward. Three turn pass. Gets it to. He's on the left flank. Comes back on the inside. Nuts the man. Gets back the ball. Sends it into Freeman. Freeman shoots. Blocked partially. Again, a tackle coming in. Only as far as Leibold. Leibold looks to cross. Up to Leibold. The other Leibold. That's Deante. Deante going in the box. Shooting. But partially blocked. And so I think the referee will point for a corner to St. Paul's. They've not gotten many corners, but let's see if they can make this one tell. They're good on set pieces too. Two of the goals that were scored in the knockout finals that they won were from set pieces corners. The second balls, two second balls, they were slammed in the goal. One by Tahir, one by Danway. Danway is scoring again tonight. So to his three man. But the other lie about now, Deontay has a cross. He does so now, but low. Stabbed away by Ricardo. Looped up to the left side. Chest pass down to Freeman. Interception from Gums. Who has come all the way back to help. Only as far out as Lewis. Lewis gets past one man. Looking to cross. Looking to get on the corner. No. He changes his mind. He comes back. Ball eventually taken away. Then sped forward. South Stars. Gums. Turns on the inside. Gums. Gives it up to the far side. Morton. Morton. Nisbet asking for it. Nisbet gets it to Nisbet. Pushes it too far in front of him. And avoids all danger with that poor control piece. Oh, that would have been great to have it take that one under control. Good movement there by, um, by Nisbet. Um, but that first touch let him down. And didn't, he wasn't able to get the ball under control. But a very good move in the end by Safago South Stars. So, St. Paul's with the ball now. Looking to emerge from the back line. Fifield asking for help. He doesn't get it. South Stars instead wins it. Defense. To Hewlett. Hewlett gives it up to Gums. They lose it. St. Paul's comes back. Francis. Freeman gone to the left. Players in the box. The cross comes in now. Too hard, too strong for Deontay. Dylan picks it off. Dylan goes back for help. Finds Ricardo Archibald. Ricardo looping chip ball up to Mazari. Mazari Hodge loses out to Danway. Danway to Nurse. Nurse to Akimbo. Akimbo to Danway. Tackle comes in from Ricardo. Momentary loss. Picked back by Deontay. Deontay. Danway. Danway asking for somebody to run forward to it. No one does. Disappointing, disappointing himself with that pass. Very disappointed indeed. That final ball in behind the defense. Um, we we'll let down there. But um, he South Stars now. Nice long kick up. He's the ball for Brown. Brown big kick is in the center circle again. Heads go up. First ball to South Stars. Second ball to St. Paul's. They're trying to speed on the left hand. Down the left hand. Oh. Well read by, by Firefield. Referee. Indicating that it's time for some substitutions. We make way for Sankofa Benjamin. Another Archibald comes in. That's Antonius Archibald. So South Stars going for their first change. Nisbet, nice looping ball, but too strong and too far and then far post. Goes into touch. It looked good when he left his boot. Very much so. Look good. Look at though it was um yeah. He was heading towards the, the, the far post with a nice curl on it. But unfortunately went over the byline. So St. Paul with it now, looking to go forward. With Lewis. Took up some ten spaces. Then give it, gave the ball to Nurse. Nurse is challenged by Queeley. Queeley gets it to, gives it to Philip. Philip goes to the ground. Foul. Hewlett, sorry. Deshaun Hewlett. Taken quickly. Hewlett. Queeley. Gums. Gums crosses. And is that a handball? No. Looks, looks suspicious. 
handled by Fifield or uh, Francis and Francis clears. South Stars. They can cross, they can shoot. Pass, shot. Wayward shot. Skyward. Man, Deshaun Hewlett trying something in fight field. Nothing doing. Five field comes to the, the goal kick. Number four, five field. Takes it. Goes long down field. Center circle. Heads go up. Archibald, first ball. Lewis, second ball. Antonius, the freshman. Clears, but only as far as Deante. Deante tried to beat him. Gets on, in, on his inside. Gets past another player. Then goes square. Finds Nurse. Nurse goes over to the left side. Finds Freeman. Freeman chips it up. Who's there? The boot of Kwande. Kwande, Archibald. Archibald clearing. Only as far as Omar. Omar Francis. He donates the ball to South Stars. They accept it gleefully. In person of Dylan Morton. Morton goes back to the other Archibald, Antonius. Clearance. Nisbet getting a difficult ball. Just couldn't control it. St. Paul's takes over. Deante Leibold trying to find Dan Dan Leibold. The brothers don't connect on that occasion. Long ball out of, of defense, not very far. Goes to the ball takes the throw. Leader. Francis. Freeman. Francis. Nurse. Francis down to Nurse on the far side. Trying to get around the man. Gets him gets a good position. Another player comes over to help, takes away the ball. Goes up field, find Gums. Gums, read well by his chosen leader, picks it off. Finds Nurse. Nurse. Freeman, Freeman trying to free Omar. Omar doesn't control, the ball goes into touch. Kevin Phillip leaves it. Leaves it for Archibald. He that is in attendance. A number of other players are in, a, are in attendance. Here comes South Stars with Queeley. Queeley finds Mazari. Mazari goes forward. Strong ball forward. Trying to find Queeley. Queeley needs some more afterburners in order to catch that. Idea was very good, but too strong forward. The ball goes over the byline. Um, South Stars um, looking to attack, looking to get so at least pull a goal back. In fact, he caught it. Wow. He caught it and knocked it back for over. Here can, they come again. Mazari shoots off the shoulder. Bergen takes it easily. Bounces it a few times, then goes long downfield. As far as Deshan, Deshan gives it to Danuai Leibard. Thank you very much. Leibard goes forward, gives it back to South Stars. A bit of poor position on both sides. South Stars with their gift, they go on their right side. Gums trying to get around. Bodied off the ball, muscled off the ball by Tristan Leader. Good shadowing, good shepherding. As we see Dan Hoy, um, Leibold scoring his second goal in the second match, really making um, a, a plea to be in the first choice um, St. Paul's team. He's not really a regular first-time um, starter, so we we'll expect him to impress the St. Paul's coaching staff and management. Here comes South Stars. Hodge loses out to the Leibold. Leibold go back to the keeper, keeper to Keynes, Keynes up to Nurse. Nurse had attendance. Had three men around him. Got away. Gave it to Leibold. Leibold up to Freeman. Freeman trying to go to far left. Who's over there? That's a Kimber. It looks like a Kimber. Controls it now. 
looking to beat one man man remains strong eventually gets it to the Freeman tackle coming in tackle the ball onto Freeman Lewis too hard a touch trying to beat the man but too strong for even even himself too hard indeed um, St. Paul's looking to increase their, their lead they're in very good form Al they, they, they had to they, they, they won the um, the FA Cup that's against St. Peter's but they had to beat Kayon to get there they had to beat Village to get there um, and this is since the restart so they have very good form here comes a long beautiful ball shot by Carissa Gomes goal by Gomes They have broken the clean sheet of St. Paul's. Answered one of our questions. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. That's a long ball. A nice push of play. The ball was played to the wide right. And um, our player had to do, collect it nicely into his stride. And then it was a nice dink over the goalkeeper. Very good, good, good goal by, by South Stars. They tend to come up with these goals. All of them may leak some goals, but they tend to come up with these goals. But a very good goal. So St. Paul's, and they're not happy at all. You could see <laughs> the speculation on the field to concede a goal. They're not happy at all. Yeah, St. Paul's the type of team, and I said, in the DNA, it is in the DNA to keep clean sheets. So when they do, when they do um, concede, they're not very happy. But it was a very good goal, a very good work goal. But here comes, they're coming back now, but I think that one is going to go over the byline. Yes, goes over the byline now. So it's going to be a goal kick for South Stars. Well, the other question we ask is can they draw the game or will we see more goals from St. Paul's? <laughs> At least one question was answered. There's no more clean sheet. No more clean Two goals sheets. to one. <laughs> Kudos to South Stars. It was this man who gave the assist. Again, he's doing the same thing. Coming on the inside. Dropping off to Hewlett. Hewlett then going to Gums. Gums gets it again. No, but knocked away by... Knocked away by Omar. So stars winning it again. Creeley. Creeley finds Hewlett. Hewlett over to Dylan. Dylan has help. Archibald. Dylan slides it into Hodge. Hodge over to Nisbet. Nisbet fakes a shot. Then goes to his right. Creeley. Shoots a goal. Oh, forced to save. Bogan had to get down. Full length to keep that one out. It was a quick snapshot. Unexpected. As we pass for another substitution. It really was a surprise shot because they were looking for him to pass the ball um, into space on the right side. But he went for goal. He went for the far post. But the keeper had to scramble across his goal to come up with a good save. So very good play there by, by South Stars. And South Stars seem to have come alive after that goal. And um, some balls is taken out Danway Dan Lewis in the meanwhile while the player is down. Danway Leber is coming out. Uh, Mali Clark is coming in and they're asking for the, the physio actually the, the physio for for South Stars being on the bigger side it's being teased by the crowd they call for the stretcher but the player seems to be up. Stretcher has to turn back. The player has to leave the field. As Morton, Morton lines up and waits for the corner to be taken. They only have four players in the box calling for more help. Shot taken by shot on goal. A good shot. Oh my god. But right to the man who just Bergen who just stepped to his left and plucked it from the air. That was from Kwande Rogers. Back and forth, back and forth. The ball going. Not yet settled. The new man, the freshman, Malik Clark, latches onto one, sends it forward, tackled away by Hewlett. The same man who struck that shot goalward, Kwande. Kwande Rogers comes over to help, knocks it into touch. 
Well, knocked into touch in the old-fashioned way because he had time and space to get the ball upfield, but I thought he was really playing the ball out to get somebody a chance to get some medical attention. We play the ball out safety first in the old-fashioned way. But here they come again. Chapago South Stars, can they get the equalizer? That's the big question. Uh, can St. Paul's increase on their lead? They're looking to do so now, but play forward. Freeman, Freeman, shoots in the side netting. Too tight an angle. And that's his favorite kind of play. Unfortunately, he just didn't get it off this time around. The ball went slamming into the side netting. But that was a very good chance there for Freeman too. Every time they slack off, every time they slack off from keeping too many on Freeman, he gets away and causes some problem. Yeah, he's always that's about his third, that's about his third, third for shot for the night. Freeman always looking ready to pounce. The Caldarchi while he's down, getting some treatment from Creeley. The physio gets there this time. It looks as if he's cramping. Some of the magic spray being applied now. Kevin Phillip looks on. Akimba comes over to help. Akimba doesn't come over to help. He leans on, on, on Creeley. Ricardo has to leave the field. Play will resume with a goal kick as Basso gets ready. Brown waiting on Basso gets the go ahead now. Big ball as far as Hodge. Hodge trying to cradle. Hodge been tackled by Lewis. Lewis wins the ball. Keynes, Nurse, Akimba. Over to the man, Leibold, who's outside. As soon as he went in the outside position and came back, Ricardo is back on the field. Takes a kick now. Gets it back, chips it up, finds the goal scorer, Gums. They go forward again, Nisbet and Gums. But Trizan Leader is there, knocking it to Nurse. Nurse blocked. Ball one, and then knocked outside. South Stars is clearing it, but throwing to St. Paul's. Omar Fife, he will take it. Back he'll loop and pass over to Leibard. Leibard gets in the box. Leibard turns on the inside. Leibard gets it again. Try to cross. Ball knocked away. All as far as Freeman. Freeman goes to the right side. Finds Malik. Malik trying to get back to Freeman. Archibald is there. Archibald of the Antonius variety. Knocks it into touch. So taken on the far side. They come back for help. Finds Anthony Keynes. Anthony Keynes goes from right all the way over to the left side. In the own half. Then they come back right. This time they find five field. Ali Clark, urge to turn. No, says Mr. Malzari Hodge. He's there. He's holding on. He's winning the ball. He's going strong. He's going strong to the right. Ball knocked over by Clarissa Gomes. He seems to have some speed, a foot race. He gets there first, Clarissa Gomes. Then he knocks it onto Amar. Gets it back. Gives it to Creeley this time. Creeley drops off to Deshaun Hewlett. Hewlett goes square. Finds Archibald. Antonius. Antonius gives it to Mali Clark. Mali Clark says thank you. Up to Akimba Lawrence. Akimba Lawrence turns around, 360, drops off to Nurse. Nurse goes into Freeman, Freeman, ball robbed by Ricardo. Ricardo over to goal scorer uh, Clarissa Gomes. Loses out, poor control. Clearance from Ricardo, and Clarissa goes to the ground. Second time in the last five minutes, he's on the ground. This time is like a stamp, as the Basso, de as Basso demonstrates. Can you make it? Hey, do you need help? But yeah, that's what he says. But yeah, calls for the help. 
South Island of Tagonio. 6 p.m. Pasta Saddlers versus South Island Auto Conway. Right, now the announcement there. Uh, PA system that is that just one match to be played tomorrow? Just one match to be played tomorrow. Uh, the fixture had to be uh, fixed, uh, adjusted to accommodate the, the frequency of matches, including the knockout cup and the way some games were put off in the past. Because as I was telling, as I was telling you, Newtown has Mantab, and Newtown too has uh, security forces. They have to spread those matches because one team playing against two. <laughs> To finish off again, they call for the stretcher as we call the stays down. They would cause people sprint onto the field. What is it? Yeah. I was making the point, I hope I'm not belaboring it, but St. Paul's. It's a, a very sweet one, Al. I mean, they've won all the matches they've played since they restart. Um, could they go all the way and, and win the cup that they have not won for a while? They have really added a part of this run. They've added the, the FA Cup to the cabinet trophy. So for sure they'll be looking to add more silverware to the trophy cabinet. So they're really... There really is a sense of optimism um, running through the camp, a bubble, a bubble of optimism in the St. Paul's camp as they continue to win games after games after games and um, they win the cup, they'll be looking for the big one which is the Premier League Cup which We'll get them $50,000. This is the biggest cash price ever in a sporting match, local sporting uh, match in St. Kitts Nevis. So $50,000 for the winner. So St. Paul's sure they'll be looking to win that championship. A little chip ball, 24 in gums. Comes 24 in this bit. Ball goes into touch. St. Paul's. Spring away. Freeman. Freeman goes long to the right side. Malik Clark, his friend is over there. A little poor control. A feint. And then a shepherd. And then the keeper comes out. Finds Morton. Speeds up to the half line. Beats one, gives it to Nisbet, gets it back. Ball knocked. Finally knocked off of a same pass player. He wins the show. Was taken quickly by by Dylan Mazari. Mazari player goes to the ground. He's tripped. Foul. Foul on Ronaldo Nisbet. He's down. He should be okay. At the moment they're playing with ten men. I don't see Ricardo back on the field as yet. We don't have to substitute it. Now, now will be a good time to make that determination whether he's going to come back or he's going to be substituted. They're playing with 10 and they don't want, although they have the ball. Nisbet in the business area, cleared by St. Paul's, just at the top of the D. Nurse, down to Akimba. Akimba racing away, shielding his Antonio's Archibald. Uh, it seems as if South has made up their mind. Half come up, we've seen an indication that Ricardo won't come back. They're playing with 10 at the moment. Malik Clark getting a free ball. Malik Clark getting a shot. And oh, that player missed that ball. Akimba. Everyone missed that ball. The player is down. Yes, Akimba missed that one completely. Second, very clear cut chance. Uh, Kimba had for the night. All Kimba had to do was to just put a touch on that one and he would have had the finishing touch. A ball played across the face of the goal um, dangerously. Uh, Kimba failed to apply the finishing touch. 
so squandering another very good opportunity. But um, Chapago South Stars making some changes. Yes, Sean Possible came in for the injured Ricardo Archibald, and then we see Kiefer Johnson. It doesn't seem like he's too keen. Everybody else runs on with pace. He simply walked on the field. Kiefer Johnson replaced the man in midfield, Mr. Deshaun Hewlett. Here they come again, South Stars. One of the fresh players goes forward, finds Nisbet. Ronaldo Nisbet on the far side. Clarissa shoots again. And the ball rolls across the box. Cleared. Only as far as Johnson. Johnson shoots. Oh, the ball just goes past the upside. Good shot from Johnson. Where was that? We see all the time. Where was he all the time? Finally came on to play centre back, but he got himself all the way up on the top of the deeds. What? Not a very good chance here by South by South Stars. They're looking so good, Al. As we're hearing some announcement over the PA system, making it difficult to hear. Um, but a very good chance there by South Stars. I'm looking for that equalizer. Handball allowed there just now for ad advantage play, but they give her the advantage. Johnson winning again. Over to Gomes. Gomes trying to find Ronaldo Nisbet. Nisbet gets it on his good foot. His left foot loses out. Finds Johnson. Johnson drifting forward. Very far indeed. Finds Hodge. Hodge goes back for help. Morton. Morton knocks one touch pass to Percival. Percival trying. Losing out. Dylan picks it off. But only as far as Nurse. Nurse goes to the ground. Nurse is fouled. Long ball taken. Clark losing from a little bit of balance. He gains his balance, then he goes forward. Freeman misses out. Kavan Phillip wins it, clears. Queeley gums back to Dillon. Dillon looks up, looks light, looks left. Then he goes to the right, trying to find Gums. Gums is there, gets it now. Help. Shot on goal. I look like Ronaldo Nisbet came over to help out Clarissa Gums and sent the ball into the ballon bar. But the Chafalga South Stars, they're playing very good, very good football. They're competing well against St. Paul's. St. Paul's seem to have relaxed a bit. But Chafalga South Stars, they're looking very ominous whenever they go forward. They're looking as if they're going to score. Possession, St. Paul's. One, two, three passes. Lewis makes a fourth, connects a fourth. Over to Leibold. Leibold to Freeman. Freeman takes it and goes all the way back. Then he goes up to the left side. There's only seven pass. Deante, Deante in back to Freeman. Freeman crosses, going across the box. Antonius Archibald gets it. Puts it under control, comes out with it, coming forward, gets past one man, gets past two men. He's on the right side with a bit of space now. He comes on the inside, finds Carissa Gomes, Carissa Gomes rides the tackle, goes back for support, finds Queely. Queely over to Antonio Sachibal who stayed forward. Queely, they're getting forward now. Johnson speeding forward. Johnson getting a ricochet. No, clearance by the man five field. St. Paul's, strangers to St. Paul's on the back foot. From South Stars. Dylan holding back the player as he gave away the ball more or less. Holding back Nurse. Another substitution this time with St. Paul's. They're bringing in Taju Clark. Number 18. I'm surprised I haven't seen Jamal, Jamal Jeffers in the 7 or 11 position, yeah. is it? Yes. <laughs> Maybe they're saving him for the last tonight. 10 minutes. Maybe the scoreline is still too close. 
Yeah, yeah I guess that's the reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keynes slamming it forward, missing his centre back. Two players converge on it. They miss the ball. That's Lawrence and Freeman. Allowing the ball to go to the to the keeper. Dylan looks around, then takes it. Goes to the right side, finds Clarissa Gomes. Beats his man on the line. Goes forward, sends his forward. Hodges there, but five field. Intercepts. Then he goes to the line. Finds Creeley. Creeley is pushed to the ground. kick Morton lines it up Kwan Rogers comes foul too ball in ball wasted <laughs> very much wasted uh, that ball didn't even get inside the box that ball went way out um, no player at all would have been able to get to that one. Very wasted shot there by by South Star. After playing so well, they've been having a good spell of play, good passage of play for the past few minutes. And here, now St. Paul's now looking to go forward. Well, you can say they win, they win in the second half, 1-0. But let's see what Malik Class has to say about this. He crosses, fast side. Tajo Clark comes in, shot and goal. Great save. Wonderful save. Oh my gosh, that man Brown pulled off a great save. Congratulated wow. even by the St. Paul's players. He's an absolutely brilliant save indeed. But had that score, that would have been an absolutely scintillating um, um, finish there. A screamer oh. <laughs> from Tajo Clark. And Brown met it well. That Pushed it great. over the crossbar. That was great football all around indeed. Good shot and good, good save. Yeah, good cross, good shot. Good save. Very good football. It's come up. Shot on goal again. Clearance partially. Who's can shoot? Shot on goal. This time a goal from Keynes. Anthony Keynes. The right back. The number two man. Got all the way up in the box. Slammed it goal from an acute angle. The goalkeeper was unsighted. And he just ball just curled. Curved into the far corner. The side very netting, so very good shot indeed. As I said, goalkeeper was unsighted. There were so many bodies inside the box. Goalkeeper was very much unsighted. But the one was hit sweetly um, to the far post. Hit with precision and giving St. Paul their third goal. And that should be the insurance goal um, for St. Paul's. So very good goal. St. Paul's continue their winning ways. This could be maybe the 12th or, the 12th or 13th consecutive um, victory um, since um, the restart from lockdown. Very good from from St. Paul's. Dylan gets the center pass, turns back. Archibald. A miss from Keynes this time. Sean Possible. Nisbet gets it. Nisbet walks on the ball. Trying to send Pauls. Freeman all the way back, deep in his own half, running Clark. Clark back to Freeman. Freeman continue running. Freeman tries a goal from far out. The keeper was out. Trying to chip down there from some some distance. As we see another substitution. This time is the crowd favorite. Kwame Challenger. Is he? Yes, it is Kwame. Well, you take kind of, yeah. Since they got the insurance goal, they're saying, well, okay, let's give these guys some a chance. <laughs> so, which chance? Are we going to see Jamal, Jamal Jeffers? Uh, 
Yeah, somebody told him in his other life that he's a striker. So I suppose <laughs> he'd be down there whispering in the coaches here. All I want is five minutes. Just give me five. <laughs> or even the injury time. Yes. Here is Hodge. Lines up the field. Look to pass, then dribbles. No pass to Dylan. Short pass. Dylan trying to get it through. Keynes is there. Keynes goes up to Queeley. Two players, a Kim Allowance and Tajo Clark. They lose out to Kavon Phillip. Kavon Phillip is to Queeley. Queeley comes on the center circle. That's Johnson, Kiefer Johnson. Johnson goes back for help. Finds Kavon. Kavon Phillip goes up long, trying to find Nisbet. Does Ronaldo Nisbet to Morton. Morton shoots on goal just over the crossbar. Read well by Bogan though. He had he had that one under control. Yes, well read by goalkeeper. Just looking at one and uh, letting it go over the, the crossbar. But a good shot there. Um, so stars looking to at least pull out, pull another goal back. Um, had they were they to go on to win this game, which seemed like an impossible task now, they would have assured themselves of a, um, staying up in the Premier League. They have a free kick now. She won in favor of St. Paul's. And to, to, just to, to remind you that they are in South Stars on 10 points right now. Um, they have one more game after this, which will take them to a maximum of 13 points. Whether to go on to win. That's it again. Yeah, 13 points for to go on and win. Gums is coming out. Star now making. Isaac is coming in. Gums out, Isaac in. Look, they get another substitution. Ronaldo Nisbet will come out. Heads go up. A ball. Johnson. Ball has gone out, so. So says. It's Terry Wilkinson over there as the referee assistant number two. Kwame Challenger. Goes downfield, connects a pass to Clark. Clark goes to Lawrence. Lawrence goes back to Clark. Francis allows it to roll to Lewis. Lewis to Keynes. Lofty drive upfield. Heads go up. Freeman nods on to try to find Akimbo. Akimbo puts it down. No, Akimbo doesn't get it. The defender Johnson gets it. And stoops to head it back to his keeper. Keeper in turn latches onto it, sends it out, and they try and on a second time to go forward. Yet again broken up. This time they go forward against St. Paul's after winning the ball. Trying to get it to Freeman. Freeman gets it now. Freeman and the man Clark. Clark beats his man, gets in the back. Clark's cross. Block, then cross, another shot, this time in Lozak Road. On the strong foot of Freeman. <laughs> yes, um, Freeman again getting into those good shooting position. And this time one on, the, on, on his right foot, and he didn't get that one on target. But another good attempt by St. Paul. But here comes South Stars. To the left. Looking for possible. Possible can cross, he does so now. Clearance comes in from prison leader not taking any chances knocks it for a corner surprised to see prison leader playing the whole game he started he's still on the field but i guess he's looking match practice for the final six he's not been featuring very much in the st paul's team but here comes Safago south stars dylan crossing too many red shots in the box they win it freeman speeds away with it gets past and they, then he goes down to the right side and he finds Akimba. Akimba has one man with him. Ball to 
too strong for uh, Akimbo. Defender Kwande is able to go back to his keeper. Wins it and then gives it back to Malik Clark. As we see, just three minutes left in injury time. Enough time for Jamal to make an appearance, but this time South Stars knocks it forward. Rogers disappointed that that one didn't come to anything. As then I was setting up for the throw in. Keynes is there, asking for the ball now. Throw in. Picked off. Up to the new man. Headed away. It's Kwame. Keeper goes up, gets it. Bogan. Avoids all danger. Overhand throw. 25 Freeman. Freeman freeing himself. Then a nice little crave turn. Beats the man. Keeps the ball in field. Goes forward. He's battling away by himself. A one man solo one here. He goes again to the right side. He goes down. Begging for a free kick. Gets it too. Looks like he occurred in the box, but Basso is closer to it than me. Graeme Brown, the first assistant, doesn't move. Meaning again that the play more than likely occurred outside of the box, although the momentum took Freeman into the box. Yes, a very good good solo run there by Freeman, taking the ball inside his own half and taking it um, close to, his, to, uh, to, the, to the opposition box and getting a, a corner kick in, in the process. What a very good run, almost getting inside the box with that run. And he's now won himself, a, won himself and won his team a free kick just outside the box. And let's see if they can increase their lead. Uh, this is what we call a word, never say die. Three minutes to an injury time. And here you see battling away. The rest of the yes. team relaxing, but he's fighting away. Yes, that is simple. That's just his nature. Yes. I think he will go straight to this one. Try to go at far post and call it in. Away from the wall and beat the keeper with space. I think that is what is in his mind. Let's see if we can have the same thing on our minds. Freeman sends it goalwards. Block partially, then cleared. Lewis, shot on goal, blocked. Clearance. Mazari gets to one man, knocked away by Lewis. much time now Morton taking it Hodge Morton Hodge back to Morton Morton loses it over to Hodge Hodge to Dylan Dylan a nice little fake pack whistle goes couldn't do enough in enough time to get a shot on goal yes but another good move by by South Stars they look they look good in patches so um, unfortunately they had to look along and lose to St. Paul, but St. Paul's quality came out tonight and um, much, more sup much more superior to, to the South Stars team. So she won to St. Paul's, continuing their winning ways. Very good one for St. Paul's. With that information, we go down to Master Control and we'll be back with you for a post-game wrap. Entire month of November, Small Electronics is having the biggest sale on island. Three in one. Yes, three sales in one month. From the 1st to the 26th. And on the 27th is their massive school-wide Black Friday sale. And don't forget, on the 30th is Cyber Monday. You get to take advantage of all. And when I say all, I mean all gadgets and electronics store-wide. Included cell phones, tablets, smart TVs, laptops, refrigerators, washing machines, and much more. Don't you miss out on the biggest sale on island. Island. Three in one sale for the entire month of November. Terms and conditions apply. Smart electronics, where to live a smart life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Skillex Interactive Voice Response System, a new 24-hour automated call-in service. Access it now at 465-2000 to report faults, receive bill balances, and for the first time ever, you can now make bill payments over the phone, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Access it now by calling 465-2000. As we wind down to the playoffs, Saddlers FC want to end the season with a bang. But can they get past Cornery FC, who have also been struggling since the restart? It's Fast Cash Saddlers FC versus Sol Allen Auto Supplies Cornery FC, Sunday at 6 p.m. at the Warner Park. And it's live on SKNFA.com, SKNewsline.com, the Facebook pages of SK Newsline and the SKNFA, and live radio commentary at Voice of the Caribbean Radio at VoiceOfTheCaribbean.net. It's Premier League Live. Never miss a game. It's the new and improved SK Newsline Android mobile app. With the SK Newsline app, you can watch your news reports, the SK Newsline newscast, sports, special features, and so much more. You can also send us a WhatsApp or call us directly. Go in the Google Play Store, search SK Newsline, and download the app today. The SK Newsline mobile app. News on the go. Strictly Sports is back! Strictly Sports is back! And better than ever! The website that brings you all kind of sports. No rumors, no Niagara business, just sports. Log on to www.getstrictlysports.com That's G-E-T-S-T-R-I-C-T-L-Y-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and get articles, features, videos and photos, local, regional and international stories. And don't forget to check out our online sports store. It is little right now, but in time it will get hugely. And we have lots of room for you advertisers. And advertising is free right now. You heard me right. Free. Just call 762-3134 for more information. This is good. This is good. If I miss the game, all I got to do is log on and everything right Deal. Strictly Sports is back! Football fans, get ready for football like never before. It's the inaugural Super 6 Playoffs featuring the top six teams in the SKNFA Premier League doing battle for the Big Cup. At the Warner Park Football Stadium starting November 24th, the Super 6 Playoffs is the most lucrative sporting event in St. Kitts and Nevis, with the champions winning $50,000. Yes, you heard right, $50,000 for the champions, $500 for man of the match, and over $100,000 in prize money. Fan giveaways and prizes galore. It's the inaugural Super 6 Playoffs starting November 24th. Get ready to rumble. back to the post game wrap we can tell you that the game ended three goals to one in favor of of St. Paul's one of our questions at halftime was answered so uh, so I was able to erase the, the shutout and despite losing I could have themselves well what 3-1 what do you thought of the game overall Yes, as I said, despite losing, I mean, South Stars would have acquitted, acquitted themselves very well indeed. They played positive football. They not only sat, they were not only looking to defend and play negative football, but they looked to attack. All the same part, the much superior team. They looked to attack and they got in some very good positions at times. Unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't convert as many. They converted a very good goal, which um, surprisingly, St. Paul's conceding, conceding a goal and not keeping a clean sheet. Well, the result wasn't significant for both teams in the tables. St. Paul's remaining second and it seems as if South Stars has the number nine spot 
uh, the number 10 spot, sorry, safe and secured? Yes, safe and secure. That is if of, of Mantab don't go on and win their next two games. Mantab have two more games to, to play. Um, South Stars have one game to play. South Stars could reach to a maximum of 13 points. Um, so they have to go on and win the next game. Had they win this game or even get a draw, they would have been in a very good position. Um, but they're still in, a, in the best position out of the three teams that are looking to, to go down. That uh, most part of to go down. Uh, you call Mantab. Let's look at Mantab. Mantab has security forces and Newtown. Those are the two. And they need six points. Uh, at least, well, four points, four points won't do them any good. Because I think South Stars, the fact that they keep these, their score margin so close, but they have a better goal difference than them. So they need six points. We, we started at half them indicating that Mantab may be able to beat security forces. But what's your record? What's your thoughts on a matchup like? Mantab and Newtown. Yes, and Newtown still looking to go into the final six. Still have a chance to go into the final six. So they would, they would, they would like to earmark this match as a sure three points. Um, so it's going to be a competitive match because it's going to be relevant in the sense that South Stars looking to stay up, Newtown looking to get into the final final six. So this is going to be a competitive game. But they also have South Stars to play. That's Newtown. That's, that's Newtown. And but still, they still like to secure these, these first three points before they... they, they the first three points. <laughs> to, make, to make themselves feel a little bit safe. Yeah, exactly. Because if, if they were to leave it to last, you can put there'd be too much pressure on Newtown. So they would like to secure these, these first three points for Mantab. Well, we were talking about St. Peter's. We were talking about Newtown. But there are two other teams that were in the, the run-ins. As OR Jets as well as your your team Spurs, but they are now stuck on 30 points, and it may, it may just may, that if St. Peter's get into 35, Newtown if they win those two weaker games, can put those, these two teams out of the picture. <laughs> very much so, and we have already, we have already established that St. Peter's is in. So we're looking at one more spot right now. One more spot. One more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one more spot between. Newtown, OR, and Spurs. And Spurs. And who do you think has the easier path? Newtown. Well, it's like a brave man not to, to bet against Newtown. Newtown. Like a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Newtown is in a very good position. So, um, I don't think anybody be willing to bet against Newtown at this point. Let's turn back a bit to the game tonight. We saw three goals to one. We saw a goal by South Stars. And for a long time, it was 2-1 mm. with South Stars threatening to equalize. But the goal was a very good goal by Gums. Very, very good goal indeed. The ball was played over the top. Gums had to do the all the hard. He was played into his path. And first, he had to get to it, get to it in time. And what, he had first had to hold his one. So he, he would, not have, would not have been offside. And then he was able to get the ball over the goalkeeper head and get it down in time. So it was a very good goal. Absolutely brilliant goal from, um, from, from Gums and from the team. But a lot of teams would have shut up shop with just a one goal lead with a few minutes to go. But Sempas didn't do that. <laughs> they went in search to get some distance between them themselves and South Stars. Yes, very much so. Sempas, as they have had a reputation of scoring one goal and, and, and closing up shop, going on a lockdown. But this time, Sempas didn't show any sign of that. They were looking to score goals. They were playing aggressive football. And um, unfortunately, they, they conceded which they don't like to do. As I say, it's part of the DNA not to concede, part of the DNA to keep clean sheets. But this time they conceded, as I said, because they were looking to attack. I, I mentioned this before, but I have to say it again. It must be an ominous sign to see goals coming from St. Paul's and it's not of the boot, not from the boot of, of, of Keith Weifelman. We said Dan Wai, and um, you're always talking about um, habits, scoring is a habit too. Yeah, yes, Score one course, goal, then course, all the others comes. Then he gets another one. And another unusual player, to have gotten a goal, the third goal. Yes, Mr. that was Anthony, Keynes. Anthony Keynes. Keynes, yes, yes Keynes getting it. It's a good goal. Um, as I said, the goalkeeper must have been inside a bit. There were lots of bodies inside the box. Um, a shot, he was hit, well placed, and um, he ended up getting getting that goal. But um, Leibold, um, a player who left Keon, went to, to St. Paul's, he scored, he scored in the second consecutive match. So that will give him a lot of confidence and would it imp uh, sure it would impress um, the St. Paul's coaching staff enough 
to have him in the starting eleven. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't go there. I won't go there. Why do not go there? What? He, I know, he, I know he, you won't go there. You, you. They, they can't. It's a very sensitive point for you. I, I mean, uh, very, always sensitive. <laughs> but, yeah. but the Kian players, uh, most of the players who tend to leave, they leave for a while and then find themselves back home, so to speak. Well, that's true. They have, and they, they, they seem to have an, an affinity for, for St. Paul's because I remember Yellowman went to, to St. Paul's. George Yellowman um, went to St. Paul's. Um, that's um, those infamous, infamous, and his brother didn't go to. At, at one point, at they went one to St. Paul's. Very early. So, <laughs> Kian yeah, players seem to have affinity. That, for, that's the way. Newton players tend to go to Canary. Village. That's true, yes, yes, yes. Well, I could see the connection. I could see the connection with Newtown family, and Canary. Family and physical. Family, yes, and, and because and the, yeah. the the Canary players would have attended school, primary school in Newtown. In Newtown, yes, yes. Well, it's not now, but years ago they would have attended primary school. It will be a connection there. It's always rather interesting to follow the. The transfer marketing circuits. We're very yes, new. Yes, we're, very, very we're, we are new to this, but it started yeah. quite a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I think one of the very first ones was um, Jason Keith Campbell's brother. Yes. He left the town and went to village. village I think yeah. that started the whole thing <laughs> until we've mushroomed into many, many changes until we can't keep track of them. I know, and we've seen the same thing with um, Spurs and, and village because Spurs just down the road from. From village and um, the handy yeah, brothers tend to exchange as well. Yes, yeah. always exchange between those two teams. So tonight we had St. Paul's pushing ahead, winning the game. Tomorrow there's just one match on at six o'clock. We'll bring that game to you. Again, it's not one of those matches that it's not one of those matches that would interfere with the tables, but nonetheless it should be an interesting, interesting football. I think it's can we can we can we Saddlers? Yes, um, can we be looking to gain some momentum, Saddlers? We'll be getting some players, some practice, looking towards next year. Saddlers. <laughs> Saddlers, yeah, looking towards next year. Well, yeah, the, time next we to, the time we have to go deep, they want to, what we call it, safe teams. They can't be relegated and they can't be, they can't be in, the, in the top six. Yeah. So they're somewhere in the middle, in abeyance, or just the mid-table mm. region that's not involved. Connery, on, on the other hand, would want to try out some of the other players to make sure they, their bench players, who they may call upon in the six, will get a run out and get a good feel. But nonetheless... Um, it will go to your end of statistics with your, your win-loss record and exactly. of course a lot of pride is inside there pride of course pride is very important yes so um. Carnival's game is on tomorrow and we'll bring that to you stay tuned to the various um, areas where you can get the, the games the Facebook page for SKNFA the Facebook page for SKN, SKN Newsline SKNNewsline.com voiceofthecaribbean.net that's radio and of course, you can get the app, the SK Newsline app, to follow the games. Especially if you're outside the waters of St. Kitts, do tune in. If you're you are inside, come and see. Uh, this one is an untreasured game, but should be good football still. Come on over. With that, I bid you good night on behalf of my commentator, Isitan Watts. See you tomorrow. As we wind down to the playoffs, Saddlers FC want to end the season with a bang, but can they get past Cornery FC, who have also been struggling since the restart? It's Fast Cash Saddlers FC versus Sol Allen Auto Supplies Cornery FC, Sunday at 6 p.m. at the Warner Park, and it's live on SKNFA.com, SKNewsline.com, the Facebook pages of SK Newsline and the SKNFA, and live radio commentary at Voice of the Caribbean Radio at VoiceOfTheCaribbean.net. It's, it's Premier League Live. Never miss a game.